Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today's video, I will go over how to convert a raster file into a shape file by using QGIS. Have you already uploaded this video um, showing how to convert a, a raster file into a shape file before? But I didn't explain the output, um, the output file. So in our today's video, I will go over and see with detail the output file. So you can see and relate um, that technically the conversion is the same. So give you the same output file in different format. So let's get started. So this over here is a land use land cover for um, a land use land cover map of 30 meter resolution for Manhattan. Um, as you can see, if I put this over here, you can see um, there are some classes which are in uh, black color, and there are some others that are that have color. Those um, IDs are the ones that um, correspond to a specific category of land use land cover according with the National Land Cover Dataset. So let me show you the classes. This over here represents the legend. Each number represents a specific category of the um, National Land Cover Database. Um, and I took this from uh, the recent year, which was 2021. The land, land use land cover map for 2021. Um, you can go to data and downloads. And over here, you can um, download the data if you want to. In my case, I focus on the canoes and I downloaded this map over here. Then, uh, sorry, then I clipped the um, the raster file by using the shape of Manhattan that I downloaded in another uh, from another website, and um, I ended up this um, using this area. The reason why is because it's on a smaller area and um, you can replicate this with um, big areas. But this, uh, this smaller um, area allows, allows me to um, load the, um, or load the conversion or process, or process the conversion faster in comparison to um, using a large data set. Okay, so as I mentioned before, these IDs represent a specific class. And um, so what, what we're going to do is go to raster, um, go to polygonize. So we are going to convert a raster into a vector. We need to specify the raster file, file which is the Manhattan um, raster file that I'm using. This is the bank number. So in my case, this file just have just uh, one band. And this is the name of the field uh, that I'm going to create. So in my case, I'm going to, in, instead of like leave the default, which is the N, I'm going to use um, category, categories. So I'm going to create a specific column uh, in my new shape file that I'm going to generate with all the categories, which which is going to represent the IDs. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go here, save to file, and I'm going to save the file raster. So let's, let's create a folder, new folder Manhattan. I'm going to copy and paste the name as well. I'm going to paste it over here. So the file will have the same name as um, the folder. And I'm going to click run. Because the data set that I'm using is small. So you saw that the, the running time was, was faster. As a result, this is the, um, the raster file. As you can see, um, each of the pit cells were, was converted, was converted in, um, into a polygon, a specific polygon. So if I right click, so let me just hide this. Um, 
sorry, compress this. So if I right click the shape file um, and click open attribute table, I will be able to see the column that I created called categories and uh, all the IDs that represent that uh, each of the polygons, as you can see over there. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is to combine all of them so we can use the um, website that I showed you before where it appears all the classes and it start name all the classes. So, so now let me uh, close this, go to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools. So I'm gonna use this one, Dissolve. So it will be this Manhattan. This is the shape file that I created. But I, over here, I need to specify the field that I'm going to dissolve. In, in this case, just categories. I need to, to select these three dots, select categories and click OK. And uh, let's save the file. So I'm going to create another folder, Manhattan Dissolve. Let me copy and paste the name so I can just paste it over here. And now if I run, so let me just hide this one and this one. So you will see that we got technically the same shape file, but if I just right click and open the attribute table, you can see, uh, let me just click here, the categories to organize, to sort the, the values. Uh, you will see that I just have um, 15 categories. Um, it should be mentioned that the, um, the class number zero is unclassified class and you will see, so it's basically the background is this black um, pixel over here. So if I click here, oops, sorry. If I click here to show the file and open attribute table. So if I select this one, so you can see that all the um, zero class polygons are selected. Um, and uh, this one represents the background because it's not like important for us. What I'm going to do is click here to edit the, the file. And I'm going to select the category num uh, number zero and I'm going to delete. Delete. So you will see, um, you can see, you can see that the background, we just removed the, sorry, the, uh, removed the, the background. So if we see the icon, it's, it shows like a pencil over here. It means that we still are editing the um, the shape file, so we need to um, click this option over here and save the changes. So what uh, QJS is actually doing is um, overwriting the same file, all the changes that were made before. So now what we can do is um, start naming the categories. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna right click and open the attribute table and over here I'm going to create a new um, a new column that contains the class name. So let me just uh, just organize, I just sort the categories. Um, I click the um, Toggle editing mode to turn it to turn it on. Then new field it will be class name. And over here it will be a text and the length. I'm going to set this to um, let's say twenty five. So now what I'm going to do is bring the classes based on the website, which is this one, and I start copying, copy and paste the respective classes, correspond classes, corresponding classes for each of the categories. So just quick thing that I need to mention is if you don't set the um, 
the length to a value greater than 10. Um, when I'm copy, so if I set the the the, um, the the length of the text to 10, when I was uh, when I'm copying and pasting this class to uh, this cell, it w it will not let me, and the reason why is because the length of the of the text is greater than 10. Just to let you know. For example, uh, let's see this one over here. See if I just copy it until medium, it will let me. But now in 10, see, so until I just can put this over here. It's a clear example. Um, so let me do this quick. Okay, so now that I finalized, um, as you can see, there are two cell, two new cells, and um, when I was technically copy and pasting the test, I didn't select the the um, I didn't click the cells. I just click here and paste it, and that's why um, QJS generated these two empty cells. So now, if you want to remove it, just click um, the ID. Um, let me just organize this first. Just click the ID and um, click this option, delete. So let me delete this one. Let's open again and let's delete this one. So let me right click, show again. So now you will see the values over here. So now let me just click here, toggle editing mode and save the changes. So now I can just quick um, go to here, category, select the class name. Let's say random colors, it will, it will be like a, fast, a faster um, way to plot the categories by using colors and you will see the categories over here uh, and the colors. And later um, I will upload a video how to create like a layout um, layout and uh, and create like a map, a really good map using Q QJS. I'll see you in our next video.